And ladies and gentlemen, big applause for Gonzalo Hall. Thank you. Buenos dias, Agaete. This is cool to be here finally and be here. This is nice. So today I have 15 minutes and 75 slides to go with you. Uh, please pray for me. I was promised some paintball machine guns if I don't leave in exactly 14 minutes and 28 seconds. But this will be okay. As you know, we digital nomads, we love to work by the beach. We don't work that much, so we just fake it for Instagram. Uh, not really, right? We actually work. So today, I want to stop the bullshit. I think we are for too long talking about the Instagram. We are for too long speaking about Instagrammers, with these old people that are just influencers. We need to stop the bullshit because most of us don't really care about Instagram, although we do great on LinkedIn, some of us. So, <laughs> the, and I already did a great presentation about me and the show of Nomadex. I, were, I also built the Digital Nomad Association with Joao, and now I do way too many things to post here. If you don't, if you are for some reason not connected with me on LinkedIn, this is your opportunity. You have three, two, one seconds. Thank you so much. And now, if you for any reason are actually an influencer, I am sorry. I would love to have a little bit of your audience. Please tag me on your Instagram. It will be amazing. And now we can actually start. So what is a digital nomad? I had a great discussion yesterday with Dean about this. We have very different visions. My vision is that a digital nomad is a remote worker who travels for a sustainable period of time. So digital nomads are not actually immigrants, right? So digital nomads usually use the, tur the tourism um, accommodation instead of the long-term accommodation. For example, digital nomads are not immigrants. And both are okay, by the way. I was an immigrant in Germany. I was an immigrant in Poland. I kind of could be an immigrant in Madrid if I was not Portuguese. But this is not the same thing. We are going mainstream. Remote work is incredible. We all know about it. So the movement just grew and exploded during the last years. And so much that some companies, like Coverflex, paid Marta Aguilar to go to Cabo Verde and spend one month there. Her company paid her to go to Cabo Verde and spend there one month with the community. Not just that, but we have full companies built only by digital nomads, which is quite cool. Having a company with more than 100 people, not supporting remote work, hiring actively digital nomads. Very, very different. And this is because digital nomadism is not just a lifestyle. It's actually much more than that. It's personal growth. I remember the six months I was in Bali, my personal growth 10x because of the people I met. Because you are the average of the five people that surround you. When you are surrounded with the right people, you will grow. So you, by becoming a digital nomad, can go inside communities to like that actually support your growth. If I want to be an entrepreneur, maybe I go to Lisbon. Or if I'm in Web3, I may go to Lisbon. If I want to have a great lifestyle and the best day of my life, I will go to Agaete, right? Yeah. Not sponsored. <laughs> All this because digital nomads don't actually travel between places. We travel between communities. If you check the top of nomad list, we are not talking about destinations. We are talking about communities. We couldn't care that much about places. The world is all beautiful. Madari is beautiful. Agaeti is beautiful. The world is quite cool. It just happens that we prefer to be surrounded by other people like us, so it's easier to integrate. We have this global mindset, as we don't see that much countries as we see locations. I don't see Agaete as part of Spain. I see Agaete being Agaete. If much, I see Las Palmas and Agaete more or less in the same area. So this is very different. And we thrive. And this is the number one question I have in Madeira. How can I have a positive impact? We only thrive when we have a positive impact. And trust me, all the nomads that I know want to have a positive impact. They just miss the bridge with the local community. So that's what we actually built. We see all these countries competing to welcome digital nomads. We see more than 40 digital nomad visas being built, but most of them actually failed. I understand why they do it. Economic impact, we spend money. Social impact, we bring tech jobs with us, we bring knowledge with us, but most of them are actually failing. So I actually was in Paris two weeks ago with these investment promotion agencies that are responsible for attracting foreign investment to their countries. And I asked, what is your biggest challenge right now to attract foreign investment for your country? And they all answered the same. Like, at the same time, it was beautiful. People from 20 countries, they all agree and say in unison, our biggest problem is talent. Companies want to come to our countries, but we lack talent. There is a talent shortage. We need to attract people. We are focused on attracting money. We are focused on attracting jobs. We don't have the people to actually fulfill the jobs. We need to attract talent not just the companies. 
So I created this funnel with our work in Madeira, where I see digital nomadism at the top of the funnel of attracting talent. Digital nomads, some part of them, 1% become expats. They fell in love with the places they are and they become expats. 25% of nomads are startup founders or entrepreneurs, solopreneurs. So they bring their businesses with them. And if we bring enough people, if we integrate these people with the local startups, with the local investors, we can build an innovation ecosystem by integrating and connecting all these bridges. We are not bubbles anymore. We did this in Ponte do Sol. If you don't know Ponte do Sol, beautiful village. My house is somewhere on this side. Carolina was actually born there. And our main goal was to position this beautiful village, not the whole Madeira, not the whole Portugal, a village of 8,000 people on the map of digital nomads. This is a project promoted by and paid by the Madeira regional government. And we just offer a free co-working space. We organize six to 10 events per day. We have 60 events per week, more or less. We have a full-time community manager. Now we grew, we have full-time community managers in all our communities. We have five of them. We have a Slack online community where everything happens. But above all, when you go there, the first day you'll meet 50 people. When you are there for one week, you'll meet 200 people because we will integrate you. And integration is the key. So we were future pretty much everywhere, which is quite cool. But above all, what the government really liked was the last linear. We brought 60 million euros on direct impact, not counting with companies, not counting with houses that people built, direct money spent of nomads in the economy. In the economy, just that was 50 million. We went from out of the top 100 to second on nomad list, which is quite cool. And this was a good week, of course. That was last year. Now you are just like third or something. And yeah, like just because we focus in the community, we, didn't, we just didn't say, guys, come to Madara, this is cool. Nobody cares. If I say, come to this community, we have e events for you, we will integrate you, we will build for you and make sure that you have the time of your life integrated in the community. That is what we want to hear. This is cool graphics to make sure that I look very successful. But the most important thing is that we need to make sure that we have a positive impact in the community. So we, would, we are now teaching code in schools, digital nomads, some of them already expats, we did this very well, are already teaching code in the community. There is an association called Madeira Friends from a local of Madeira that was working in Ireland decided to come back to Madeira to work for Madeira because of our community. Now he leads the community in Funchal and he's making sure that we have a positive impact by teaching code in schools. We also have remote work workshops, but I figure out that most people, adults, they don't actually care that much about us, but young kids that are now finishing high school, they really care. They really care about their future. They don't really want to leave and go to Lisbon. They are very comfortable in their own island. So we are teaching more about remote work in schools. And we are volunteering local NGOs. Yes, this is a dog shelter. We work for two dog shelters. We volunteer three times a week to go and walk the dogs. Also, it's quite a good hike. But this is some little things that now nomads do because you have the bridge between nomads and the local community, which is the, the work we do. So we are working together to improve Madeira. This was Akaton that we built with nomads, locals, and expats, pitching problems of Madeira, creating solutions during the weekend, tech solutions for these problems in Madeira. So nomads, expats, and locals, we all kind of share the same space, but we are rarely integrated. We need to integrate better. And this is not a job only for the nomads. If locals want to be integrated, they need to show up as well. This is very important. Remote work is actually the key to develop destinations, not just at the top level, like we mentioned, but honestly, if you are not trying to attract remote workers, you will probably be failing due to the aging of population and everything else in 10 to 20 years. So this is actually key. And digital nomads are not enough. There is so much more to it. We need to develop the whole talent funnel because this is a talent funnel. Digital nomads are on the top of the funnel, but there is a whole funnel for attracting talent. By attracting digital nomads, we attract expats, we attract some companies. We make destinations sexy for everybody. So we need to own and manage the whole process. And here I'm pitching you my vision for the future that most of the countries will build within the next 10 years or else they will fail. We didn't build this yet, but we are working on it. There is a key goal for this innovation agency, bringing, develop, attracting talent, human capital, make sure that our destination, our city, our village will thrive within the next 10 years. So the project, Digital Nomads Madeira. We need a project to attract Digital Nomads and to integrate them in the community. Digital Nomads Madeira, for example. I talked to you about that a lot. I'm not pitching you more, but then we need a follow-up. So what if people want to just move there without being nomads? If I want to work in Madeira, how do I do? How do I get integrated? So we need an agency for that. Work in ads, attracting people, making sure they have jobs, talking with the companies to say, what do they need? 
what are you needing? Is it people to pick up sherries or is it coders? Tell us what we need, we go to the market, we'll bring the people, we'll integrate them, we'll make sure they have a housing, we'll make sure that they will thrive in this local community. Startups, it's important to bring these people and bring innovation. So we need to have someone responsible for owning all these startups and all this ecosystem. Investment, this already exists. Companies and agencies focusing on attracting foreign direct investment. We need to bring it more money, more companies, more people. The biggest issue is actually nothing of this is integrated. We have all these things in most countries separated in their own bubbles, like different agencies to serve some politicians. We don't need that. We need actually the whole integration. We need one hub to control all this. This can be different projects, but if there is not one hub that controls all the marketing, that controls all the strategy, that controls all the process and coordinates the process between all these players, nothing will happen. And this is what is happening in most countries. So we actually need to create better communities for digital nomads. Because when we create better communities for digital nomads, we are actually, if well integrated, creating better communities for locals and also for expats, and of course for everyone. Nomadar is thriving, not because nomads are there, because nomads are there, because we, have, we are attracting startups, because we are attracting investment, because now we have more expats, and locals are coming back as well. It's not about the nomads. Nomads are on the top of the funnel. When you focus in one, you can develop the whole thing. So Nomadex is exactly doing this because we don't travel between places, we travel between communities, this is the most important. And of course, people move between communities as well. Nomads are just an example of, of usually what will happen in the next five years. So if, trouble, if nomads are leaving big cities to work remotely across the world, to live in villages, to live in people where they feel integrated, you can be damn sure that the rest of the people will follow them because they want to belong to a great community. We are in Madeira, Cabo Verde, Caparica, in Lisbon, Pipa in Brazil, and thank you so much. And if you want to follow me, hopefully there is a QR code coming here. Thank you.